Racial discrimination against Asian Americans is spiraling in the United States. The issue didn't feature too much in the U.S. media until former President Donald Trump started to call the coronavirus the Chinese virus. I would like to begin by announcing some important developments in our war against the Chinese virus. A peer review study published by the University of California, San Francisco, has researched the relationship between Trump's language and growing anti-Asian sentiment. The former U.S. president's first tweet about a Chinese virus came on March 16, 2020, and it triggered a huge rise in anti-Asian hashtags on Twitter. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. The researchers look at nearly 700,000 tweets using the hashtags COVID-19 or Chinese virus from March 9th to March 23rd. After analyzing the tweets, the researchers say half of those using the hashtag Chinese virus and 20% using COVID-19 showed anti-Asian sentiment, and they reveal how a majority of these cases came after Trump's tweet. But it's not just online. Anti-Asian sentiment had spilled over onto the streets too, with deadly consequences. The Atlanta shooting last week tragically claimed the lives of eight women, six of them of Asian descent. Since then, more incidents of racial violence have been reported elsewhere in the U.S., as well as in Europe. Research published by nonprofit Stop AAPI Hate, which tracks hate crimes against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders, shows that nearly 3,800 incidents were reported over the course of a one-year period. Women make up 68% of the victims, and men make up 29%. The issues Asian Americans face may be in the spotlight now, but they go back generations. From the violent exploitation of Chinese laborers in the middle of the 19th century to the Japanese Americans locked up in concentration camps in World War II, and today's escalating street violence. Your existence matters. You deserve to exist. As generation after generation continues to suffer, when will the United States live up to its own idea of equality and freedom?